Jaleos, 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 Jaleos. Welcome back, welcome back, people. It's the Critic Corp. I am Toke, and this is my fresh out of the theater review on the um, fucking Matt Scene movie. Um, you know, the, the following um, the whole Edge franchise, um, T. West's uh, production, A24 Productions, you know. Uh, my bad, T. West directed it. Um, say 24 productions, but, um, yeah, you know, Pearl, which was the prequel to Edge, and then Edge, um, and then Mad Scene, which is the sequel to Edge, you know, following, uh, following up, follow by, following back up with the, fa the fucking, you know, the final girl, um, the one that survived at the end, Mad Scene, uh, Miller, um, who ends up changing her name and, um, moving to Los Angeles or whatever, changing her name to Maxine Means, becoming a, uh, well-known adult film star who ends up getting a big break in Hollywood and lands this role, um, in a huge horror, horror film, and, um, you know when you when you when you when you on your way up to the top, it's gonna be some haters, especially uh, close within. You know it'd be your own type of deal. Um, well, this one, however, was um, was really her own. It was her father coming to find out, which wasn't really shocking to me. Um, you know, given especially. If you watch, go back and watch Edge, they show glimpses of her father, you know, from, you know, from time to time. Um, and then in this movie, off the jump, they show, um, you know, like an older shot of young Maxine um, being recorded by her father. And, you know, he's like. She's practicing to become a movie star, how she wants to be. And he's, you know, inspiring her and, you know, pep-talking her into believing that she should accept nothing but, the, you know, but the best for herself in life. And, um, you know, left they left it with the, with the huge quote, big quote, movie quote, you know, I will not accept um, a life that I do not deserve type of deal. And, um, yeah, he ended up being the huge... What would they call him? The Night Stalker, the, the the serial killer that was uh stroking the streets of Hollywood and all that shit. And he was um he was he was he was trying to threaten her image and her new life. She didn't you know built with the trail of blood from her past and whatnot. And he um he believed. Truly, deeply in God and Christianity and whatnot, and and just thought everything else to be the devil. Um, if it's not forming around God, then it's just devil worshiping. And um, thought he could save his daughter from Hollywood's devil worshiping things and whatnot, which he's not kind of on on the Hollywood part. They. That that whole industry is uh pretty devilish, but uh, we're not here to talk about that. So um, might get canceled, you know. Fucking, we're we're not gonna dig deep into that one. Um, but uh, yeah, man, it was this movie all around was it was it was it was solid, you know. Um, out of all of them, out of the whole the three trilogy. Or my bad, the trilogy of the franchise and whatnot. Um, I would say Pearl was probably my favorite. Pearl was, Pearl was my favorite. Then it's Edge. Then it's Mad Scene. Mad Scene. It was yeah. It was it was it was just kind of foreseen. Like the movie was really, uh, just something I could tell what was going to happen scene by scene. It wasn't like oh shit. You know, I just, yeah, I don't know if it's because I'm 
really just seeing so many movies nowadays and shit, and I, I just know how things go, but yeah, it was, wasn't nothing like, oh, damn. And I'm not discrediting Mia Golf or um, fucking Kevin Bacon, which was fucking a fool in this. He was a, uh, he played, he portrayed as a, um, a private investigator and whatnot for uh, Matt Scene's dad. And then you have, uh, you know, uh, what is it, Jean, Gina Carlo? Yeah, Gianni, Gianni Carlo Esp, Espido, or he fucks me up every time his name. Um, but you know, oh boy, that he played in so much shit, bro. He played in so much shit, like I can't even count. Um, what, what did he, what, what has he played in? That's known, man. Uh, fucking, he played in that new show. Kaleidoscope, um, what else has he played in, bro? He's played in a lot of shit, a lot of shit. Let me look at his movies real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I just gotta figure out. He was in Breaking Bad. He's in The Boys. He was in The Gentleman. Abigail just came out this year. Yeah, man, he's been, he's been in a lot of shit. He's OG. He's OG for sure. He's a good-ass actor. Not discrediting him. Um, like, yeah, performances were good. Performances were good. It was just the story was kind of like, eh. You know, it wasn't, it didn't have me like on the edge of my seat type of deal. But all around, uh, still a good, a good little franchise. Little trilogy franchise. You know, they, they most definitely got their bang for her buck. Good ending, good ending, you know, good way to end this shit. Um, hopefully they don't do any more. I mean, the way it ended too is really can't be any more. So, yeah, but um, yeah, Mia Golf, phenomenal, phenomenal man. I I can't express how uh, how much I just really absolutely love her. And every single role she plays, bro, she really knows how to, uh, I don't know if she's picking, you know, necessarily picking them, but she, the role she gives or she gets or whatever, or is given to her is just A1, A1 is, 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 is perfectly matched for her, man, you know. Like this one, she portrayed a, a Texas girl, crazy little Texas girl, you know. Like it's, yeah, man. But all around, I say this movie probably deserves a I'll give it a I'll give it a like maybe a hot 6.8 out of 10. Yeah, 6.8. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, That's all I really got for you guys on this one. Like and subscribe. Support the motherfucking corp. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys thought about this movie as well. Once you do see it. And yeah, so be it. Toodaloo.